Hello everyone. Today we are doing blood splatters. Yes, it's that tutorial I promised you a week later, seven months ago. But we are finally here. First of all, I'm going to start off with a bit of video editing in this part, and then we'll get into some particle effects and using the smoke simulation, and we'll finish off with a bit of compositing. Just make sure to not go too over the top. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is edit the video. I'd say that's probably pretty important, so that's what we're going to do. I'm going to make sure that the frame rate is the same as the actual video, obviously, because if it isn't, then the audio and video are going to be out of sync, and that's not what we want. And I also want to choose a location to actually save my video. I'm going to save it out as H.264 because there's no point saving it out as PNG. I mean, it's pretty pointless. Also, you won't be able to add the audio later on, which we're going to add in straight away, all the sound effects and all that. So now that that's done, we'll just go to video editing. I'm going to press Shift A to add the movie. And the movie is here. And as you can see, they're the same frame rate, and that's good. Or same frame, yeah, they're the same rate, frame rate. They have the same amount of frames as well, is what I meant to say. If I play through this, that's what it looks like. Which, frankly, isn't great. It doesn't feel very real. I know the sound effect is going to help, but even still, I want to make it look like he's actually being jolted back from the force of the bullet. And that's actually really easy to do. Just go to the frame where he starts moving, which seems to be this frame here. Yeah, this frame here. I'm going to select just the video, press K, move forward two frames, and delete the part in between. Now, just to make it move along even more, I'm going to press K again and delete one more frame. And move this in. And there we go. That feels nice and jolty, which is what I want. Next thing, I don't like the sound of the video because I didn't have any microphone on me at the time or on the camera. So I'm just going to add in an ambient sound, which will be this one here. And since it's like 15 minutes long, I can just move it across a bit. Okay. Finally, let's add in the actual gun sound, which is this one here. Okay, that's a bit loud. Might turn it down a little bit. No, actually, probably the louder the better, but even still. That's good. You can also add like an impact from when it hits the bullet, that sort of sound, when the bullet hits the head. One more thing I'm going to add, because I think it sounds really cool, is these three sound effects here. And if I just move it like this, now it sounds like it's actually being loaded before it's fired. Which is perfect. Though I might turn the sound of all three of those down a bit. Just to make it feel a bit more realistic so they're not just as loud as the actual gun sound itself. I might bring that up to point one again. Or 
number one. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. So, I already know the video finishes at 200, so I'm just going to press Control, F12, and render the entire video out. Should only take a couple of seconds.